The fight over a controversial industrial hemp bill, which includes CBD oil, continued in the state Senate this morning. Lawmakers signaling their support for that bill and today, uh, but it wasn't a clean sweep. Our state has Bureau Chief David Williams here now to explain, David. Well, some people who testified in that committee this morning said they don't want Indiana to really lose on what they feel like could be a multi-million dollar hemp industry. Even so, some Indiana lawmakers remain skeptical. This bill, HB 1137, opens up an entire new industry here in Indiana. State Rep Jim Lucas' says bill would allow Hoosier farmers to grow hemp and make hemp products. Farmers like John Furnish, who testified today, saying he watches plant THC levels at his Kentucky hemp farm. He's chairman of the Kentucky Hemp Commission and president of the U.S. Hemp Roundtable. On my family farm, we've grown 1,000 acres. We've harvested 996 acres. We've destroyed four acres because of high THC. We're very welcome to do that because it naturally happens in the plant. Greg Bomba testified how his Elkhart manufacturing company imports these industrial hemp and other natural fibers to use in car parts. With us having to pay quite frankly, a small fortune to ship the material here. We'd much rather have it grown locally. Some lawmakers voice concerns about the legality of some of the bill's specifics, namely how it would be enforced and seen in the eyes of the feds. The federal law still says that CBD oil, like marijuana, is still a Schedule One substance. CBD oil is one of the main reasons State Senator Gene Lysing voted no today. There's no science backing CBD oil as a medicine. And so that concerns me because I was an old nurse by profession. But that wasn't enough to sway Steve Bevan from flying in to testify. His company grows and harvests hemp products, including CBD. Hemp is everything except the THC. You, you take the scary part away, that thing that everyone's afraid of, the psychoactive stuff. In the end, the committee voted eight yes, three no on the bill. That bill now continues through the Senate. It already passed the House last month. I'm David Williams, 24-hour news 8, Brooke. David, thank you.